Hi. Oh, I can do it myself. That's all good, isn't it? Why is that doing it? Let's have a look. Speaker. Hi, guys. I don't know what's up, but I can hear myself. Automatic. Which, why is it doing that for? Is that it? I'm having audio issues. <laughs> oh, my life. Why am I hearing myself? If anybody knows how I can remove my audio issues here, that'd be great. I would address the live or the chat, I should say, but I need to fix my audio first. And I don't know what to do. Fuck's sakes. Uh, it's because I've got my computer back and it's just not working properly now. I don't know why it's um, real tech. USB. That's it. Um, that one? No. Thanks for all the compliments on my hair, but I don't know what's causing the echo or why I can hear myself. So my mic, USB, that's the camera. I don't want it to on the camera. Audio. Audio. I don't know what to do, guys. guys. My, uh, My uh, love that. I don't. I, I don't know how to, fix, know how to this. fix this. It's really annoying. It's really annoying. Is this it? No. This one? No. 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 This one? No. no. You have no idea the issue with the audio this week. And it's still like that. Oh, hold on. It sounds better than the camera. Okay. Hold on. So you're saying, so you're saying this sounds better? Is it echoing for you guys now? Is this, uh, there's, there's no echo, but I can hear myself, which would make sense. Okay, so there's no echo, except for I can hear myself, which is a little bit annoying. Let's see if I can fix it this way. No, 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 no. Right, well, it's better for you guys. It's not good for me, but it's fine. I'll power on through. So, hi. I decided to do an impromptu live stream. Sorry, I can hear myself. <laughs> I can hear myself. It is so weird. All right. So I decided to do a last minute live stream because I have some time now and I'm not sure what I'm doing on the weekend. Um, I only have about 45 minutes, so we should get to it soon. About my hair. Thank you. I decided to color it as I said in my video the other day. And I just did it, basically. Yesterday I spent the whole day stripping my hair color out and then coloring it. So, let me just say hi to some of you guys. I meant to start earlier, but obviously, welcome so much. Oh, I know what it is, maybe. Let me remove. Can I remove this one? No. I have two, um, uh, is that it, maybe? Turned out? No. Ah, doesn't matter. 
Uh, let me just say hi to some of you guys. We have Change For Me, Aimless Nan, HV, Hey Nice Fan, Angela L, Janet, Gogo, Olivia Oil, Art Joke Enthusiast. No, they should get back, get back please. Uh, Lily does stuff, Angela L said that already. No, Daisy, please, not now. Um, Lexi Sinker, Isla Fox, Mallory S, Megan B. Who else? Who else? Let me just, many of you guys. Sorry, I'm just gonna have to say a generic hi just because I'm running late. And no, I'm not actually running late, I'm just having audio issues now. So, fingers crossed. There is no audio issues with the replay. If it is, I'll try and reschedule it um, for over the weekend and try and to fix this audio issue as well. So let me try and share the screen and uh, see if it works. I'm 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 not I'm not very optimistic to be honest, but let's try. As I continue to <laughs> oh my god. I have my having issues. Yes. I'm gonna have to reschedule this guys because this is really annoying for me. And obviously I'm having some idiot and my dogs are being annoying and I'm getting stressed out with this. So I'm going to cancel this. I'll move it to some point over the weekend. I don't know when, but I need to fix this because I'm getting just annoyed sitting here. So sorry for getting you all excited, but I'll be back. I promise. It just won't be today, but over the weekend. Sorry. It's because I have my computer back and things are all messed up now. So I need to try and fix it. I thought I could just plug things in and go. And it could work. So, but what we could, what we don't, we could maybe not have an April reaction. I could chat to you guys for a little bit, I suppose. I could do that. Let me just, uh, can I change um, this, uh, change the live stream stuff around? Hold on. Can I edit that? Can I edit that live? I can. Okay. Uh, reaction. So let's chat and uh, can I remove this? Change. And I'll just put myself there for now. Let's see. Uh, snapshots. I've got a picture here. A stage picture. There we go. There we go. So I can have a bit of a natto. Let's do that instead. Can you display it on your phone, on speaker? I probably could, but I'm not going to do that, to be honest. Uh, hey, natural hair, you look beautiful. Thank you. Oh, Daisy wants this ball here. There you go. So there's like four other balls here, but she needs the one that's under the desk, of course. You look happy. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm feeling a bit flustered, to be honest. I'm feeling a bit stressed out now, now that this is not working. But today is what it is. Um, I will keep this hair for now until I get bored. <laughs> uh, it was only minutes and uh, anyway. Yeah, this is why I wanted to do a reaction to it like a live. Because of the fact that it's like I only had around 45 minutes. So if I'm talking weird, it's because I can hear myself. So it's like... I have to continue talking because if I stop talking, I can hear myself and it's a weird echo. <laughs> um, uh, I had great job was when I built my computer, but I fixed it with a USB headset. I mean, this is USB, but I I don't know. Maybe I need to, need to look at it because I was doing um, a reaction the other day and my audio was fine-ish with like the, the interference. So I unplug things and I plugged it back in and since then it's all a bit weird, but I haven't had a chance to actually look at my setup and try to fix things. So, yeah. Um, how long did it take to get the red out? So I did two decalers, uh, which took around 
maybe like an hour and a half each, putting it in, leaving it in, washing the hair, drying the hair. And then I did a color as well, which is probably another like an hour and a half. Uh, reaction to Am I the Asshole? I'm not in the mood to read. <laughs> it's like at the end of the day for me. So for me to like say I'm read now, I'm not in the mood for that. Sorry. It's a good suggestion though, but I'm not, I can't be bothered to try and do reading now. Especially with this echo, it's really annoying. Oh, hold on. I'm being stupid. I don't even have to wear this anymore. <laughs> um, can you can still hear me, right? Can you just confirm if you can still hear me? Because <laughs> now I should have to use that. Hold on. Take it off your ear. Yeah, I was just used to it. Used to having uh, you know the headphones on because I'm always doing reactions. So, oh, you can hear me still. Okay, that's fine. I'm still not in the mood to read though. So you made it to a live stream. Yes, but no reaction, guys. Sorry, I messed up. There's an error on my part. So we're just gonna sit, sit and talk some crap for maybe like about a half an hour or so. I'm gonna need to walk the dog to have my pre-workout meal and go and train some upper body basically. So yeah, that's a bit of fail, isn't it? Typical. Who wouldn't have? I swear, I, I swear somebody has chased me with um, uh, audio problems. So if the Kiwi Farms, no, no, I couldn't do that. Oh, I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. <laughs> um, Lads of Homework, what's your opinion on plant-based vegan diet? I think if you want to do it for moral reasons, that's fine. Uh, I think it can be done healthily, but I think you have to be quite cautious and quite on the ball with mixing your um, your nutrients. So, so you make sure you get enough protein in. For bodybuilding, I don't think it's ideal. It's very difficult to uh, get protein in besides like having a lot of protein powders. So, but yeah, if you want to do it, why not? It's up to you now. Uh, reading the fonts, no, I'm not going. I'm not going to do that. It's not about that. Uh, eating chicken breast feels disgusting to me. No matter how I season it, to the point where I gag while eating some chicken breast. Should I move to a different protein source? Yeah, why not? Like you don't have to just eat chicken. Uh, chicken is good because it's like low in fat and high in protein. But no, you don't have to eat just chicken. You could try something different for sure. When you play any video, your mic needs to be muted. Yes, Joseph Rothschild. I know. But the problem is, is that I was having an echo before I even started it. So for some reason, I'm having a playback. And I, I've never had that before. So I don't know what caused that. Um, there is not going to be any April reactions, Elisa, because unfortunately, I'm having audio issues. So I'm just having a bit of a chat for now. And I'll reschedule the reaction for some other time this weekend when I fix my audio problems, which is going to be trying to fix. But yeah, I, I know. Too many mics are on. Um, yeah, I guess so, but normally, like, I haven't done anything different with my setup, which is why I'm a bit confused because it's like, it's literally, I've done the same things as normal. So I'm not too sure what's causing the issue. Um, but maybe I just need to do a reboot or something like that. It's very possible. Usually that fixes a lot of problems. Uh, I've, been, I've been dying to tell you about this book called this is, your, uh, this is Your Mind on Food. It talks about how high sugar can cause and worsen depression. It's so interesting. Yeah, I'm not surprised that that uh, does that because like your stomach is basically like you said from brain, isn't it? And uh, you get serotonin and stuff like that from there. So I'm not surprised that uh, certain that eating unhealthy, especially sugar, well, not necessarily sugar, but unhealthy in general, processed food, that causes depression. <coughs> Uh, it goes how makes you look so youthful. I love the look. Thank you. I appreciate it. It does make me look younger, doesn't it? The blonde. Yeah, I like it too. I like it too. For now, I'll probably get bored of it soon though, because I always get bored of my hair color. <laughs> Have you ever tried protein coffee? Um, I've made like I used to make in the summer like iced coffees with whey protein. So basically, you just get like yourself an espresso. Mix that right. with um, and mix your whey protein with either water if you're going like super low calories, or you can maybe have it with some milk and then put that through uh, ice and stuff like that and make like an iced coffee. That way. Um, you mind with that barking? Um, I've had that, but no, um, I've never had like actual protein coffee, as in like a coffee that you make that has only protein in it. I've never tried that, no. 
Uh, doesn't happen with the monkey hold. I don't know. I haven't tried Heidi, so and I, I can't try to troubleshoot it all on live stream. I tried to do it for a couple of minutes in the beginning, but I don't want to sit here for like twenty minutes trying to figure out why my audio is not working. So my shoulders look amazing. Thank you. I never used to have very good shoulders, and then I started. I, well, I trained them a lot, uh, but what I noticed with my shoulders, uh, the best way to grow them is actually by not training them heavy. That's what, what I found is the best thing. And I'm going to tell you my favorite shoulder exercise for the rear delt is basically, like, you know how we do, like, the lateral raises, like this, laterals? Well, if you go like this and you rock, hold on, hold on, let me try and get on there. Let me show you whilst we edit. PT alone in action. So what you're doing, like, so if this is, like, a normal lateral raise, this angle like this, slightly forward, what you want to do is you want to rotate back the shoulders, because if you rotate back the shoulders, you see it automatically engage that rear delt. And then from here, lift up slightly, like that. And that, when you do that, like, look, it gives you that 3D effect. And that's why most people have to have all the fully made shoulders, is because they train only the, the, the lateral delt, the medial delts. But you actually want to train a lot of your rear delts to get like that, that fullness, that 3D effect. Like, I mean, you want to train all of the shoulder, but a lot of it is like the rear delts. And I find training shoulders in like repetitions of like 15 to 20 works a lot better for me and not heavy. Because the second I go to heavy, my traps take over. So that's my... The only thing that I can go heavy on, like I can't because I've had a shoulder problem for ages now. But the only exercise I can do heavy for shoulders is a shoulder press. That's the only one I can get away with doing like, like heavier, lower repetitions. But everything that's like the lateral raises or cable stuff... Just do all of that um, high repetition, basically, to get the best from your shoulders. Uh, going live now. Uh, going live now that I'm in the gym. Pretty sus. <laughs> I just woke up from a nap. I made the stream. Awesome. There's no reaction though, Marianne, I'm afraid. I'm having audio issues. But I hope you had a good nap. I, I tried to have a nap earlier today, but it didn't work so well. <laughs> Uh, and you're going to put your eyebrows to good. Those are really good calls. Yeah, so actually, I was thinking about this today. So I'm surprised how the filler has, like, I feel like the photos is starting to go a little bit, but the filler is still good. Like, absolutely, like, this is still filled, this is still filled. The Botox is starting to go a little bit, though. but it has been, it has been like over two months now. Yeah, around just over two months, I think. So around two months, and for me, normally if I get three months out of Botox, it's good because I train a lot. And, you know, my metabolism is pretty fast. So unfortunately, I just destroy Botox. But uh, yeah, it lasts a lot longer. Was a good tip? I remember that. Yeah, like this is my favorite way to do shoulders. Uh, you know, fire them. You know, I thought I dressed up, and then I'm gonna go to the gym afterwards, and I, I like doing that at the gym. I don't know why. I guess it's the only time of day that I go out to do something, and I'm like around people, so I'm like. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think I'm getting really hungry when I exercise. I eat a lot of protein and I still get extremely hungry that I gain when exercising. You might want to maybe incorporate like an, an, intro, an intro workout. Uh, usually speaking, there are like things like the targo, like uh, carbohydrate intro workouts that may work. Or you just need to eat a bit more before you train. Have like, a, excuse me, what are you doing? Or you can have like a, a pre workout meal. Have like a big pre workout meal. Usually my pre-workout meal is one of my largest calorie meals of the day. Um, and I have that about an hour before I train, 45 minutes to an hour. How much are your training plans? Just training is 30 pounds. If you want to have training with nutrition and like a welcome pack of information on like talks and everything and what you can do if you get stuck and recommendations, etc., that's 45 pounds. Excuse me, girls. Um, I have issues with my traps taking over, then I get tension headaches. Yeah, that's annoying. Uh, YouTube on the radar, hard to target. Yeah, I really like um, over the head presses as well, behind the head, over the head presses with the barbell. That's quite good as well for radars. However, you have to be careful with that because if your form is off and you're not super straight and strong through the core, you can kind of get like sciatica or like get muscle twitches. So I don't, it's an exercise I don't recommend to a lot of people, but it is a nice one for the radars too. Do I have a tattoo tour? Well, 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 do I have a tattoo tour okay. video? Yes, yes, I do. Let me see what I can actually. Uh, I can put it in the. Oh. Let me have a look. I do. 
Let me know. I'm going to have to search these things out here. But yeah, no, I, do. I do have that. So you just search the two on my channel and I guess you'll find it. Mm. Do you train this kind of muscle soreness since you train almost every day and go pretty hard? Yeah, I do train the evening about muscle soreness. Um, obviously, like I train different body parts. So, I mean, like I train mostly legs, but even then, if I have muscle pain, it's like either in my glutes or my hamstrings. So then I can train quads or glutes or whatever it is. And I focus, if I, if muscle soreness is really bad, mm -hmm. I try to, uh, I just focus more on like isolating the body parts that aren't there. Uh, not not other than that, that, uh, that do not have muscle pain. But yeah, I just do. Um, but obviously, if you have muscle soreness in a muscle, in a particular body part, then you shouldn't train that body part like the next day. You should give that a few days for it to recover. Is that a new hair color? Yeah, it is definitely. I'm I'm I'm, I'm a redhead, only redhead, strawberry blonde. That's it called. This is kind of what this is not. This is obviously you can sell slightly different colors from the red the red build up here. But I guess what you see here, this is pretty much like my natural hair color. This is why I wanted to do it. Like, I like being a redhead. I love being a redhead. I do really like it, but it's so much hard work to keep up having to, every time I wash my hair, having to put it semi-permanent, everything's always red. Every time I'm sweating, I'm sweating red. All my white, like, you know, it's just, I liked it. And it looks so cool, but it's really hard to maintain. You want to come, Rose? You want to come and say hi? No, yeah, you don't want to come and say hi. You want to come and say hi? No. You don't want to come and say hi. Do you want to come and say hi? Or you just want to pull? All right, go get it then. They're, uh, they're being a little bit restless because I, they, I haven't been able to save them for big bulk, or not as big as I would like, because um, basically, careful, Rosie, you're going to fall off. Because basically, yesterday. No, okay. Uh, yesterday it was really windy here, and then today it's been raining all day, so they're a bit like restless and annoying. <laughs> but I need to take a little walk, and this is probably why. At what point should I focus on body recomp and body fat loss? I think you can kind of do both at the same time, to be honest. I think you can recomp and do body fat loss at the same time. Uh, in a perfect world, that's like the goal of the sport to be is when you're, I mean, it depends on how big you are and how overweight you are, but in a perfect world, if you're maybe slightly overweight or like just a normal size, you can, uh, over a certain period of time, a few months ago, you can maintain a similar ish weight, uh, but your body fat's changing a lot and actually dropping a lot in centimeters or inches across your body. So you can do both in conjunction. But it all depends on like how long you can train, to be honest, and like how experienced you are and how well you apply yourself to training, etc. If I've done whole yoga, yeah, I have. I actually quite like it, to be honest. I think yoga, for people that do resistance training, doing yoga is very good. It's a very good, uh, um, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Complement to your resistance training, because resistance training shortens the muscle, and yoga strengthens it. So, yeah, I've done whole yoga, and I like it. It's hard, though. Yeah. Thanks again for the motivation. I think you're sick and making 56. 56? And making good money. <laughs> Stop it! Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Rosie, go to bed. Go to bed. What? Please. Go to bed. Excuse me. Go to bed. No. No. Go to bed. Nay. Go to bed. Go to bed. As a third time today, I don't know why they're doing that. Oh, sorry, dogs in it. You know they fight sometimes. <laughs> sorry, yeah, they're, I mean they're dogs. They fight sometimes. This is what happens. But they've done it. This is like the third time today. I don't know why they're doing like this. Maybe Rosie's in pain or something. I don't know. At least she doesn't seem to be in pain. They were playing just fine just now. Good girl. Are you, why are you being ill? She said for her. I mean, it's animals, isn't it? They fight sometimes, so. <laughs> sorry, yeah, sorry for headphone users. I didn't know that was going to happen. Uh, yeah, like, just out of here. I didn't even, like, are you going to behave? Nay. Put your ugly face away. And you take, put your, go to bed, Excuse me? Excuse me? Are you grounded? I think not. Go to bed. Go to bed. 
Go to bed. Oops, go to bed. Go get it. You're being a bad girl. You're being a bad girl. Yes. Behave yourself. And you too. You can tell her the look of the tail. Now she's okay. What are you being naughty girls for? I think it's because they haven't done enough exercise, to be honest. They get a lot of exercise. So normally, this is probably why that they're being a little bit like they've got maybe too much energy or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. Dogs being dogs, exactly. Uh, hit the like, please, please hit the like, even though there's no reaction. Oh, regardless, thank you. <laughs> oh, this is turning out to be quite the evening for stream, isn't it? Rosie? No, you have to be a nice girl. I can tell she does this thing with the ears and then she's like smiling and smiling and her sister. Okay, that's good now. Okay, you're a good girl now. Behave. I love your new hair color. Thank you, Tifa. I appreciate it. I have four dogs that leave a break and I then reflect and absolutely. Um, the thing is, that obviously, Rosie has only one leg. Oh, well, she has one, one really. Leg. So I have to be careful when they're fighting because Daisy is just a lot more powerful. So, and she weighs more too. But yeah, it's an edge to fight sometimes. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna let's get my air fryer on while I'm having dinner. I'm really feeling my air fryer basket with hot fries in my face. I'm so sorry about that. And that would have been a waste of uh, air fryer fries. I had some the other day actually, it was quite nice. I enjoyed it. Um, have you ever had black hair? I used to, but I don't like it. Like, it looks the, the black hair, I can carry it off. I can pretty much carry most hair colors off. But but the problem with black is, is that it only looks good if I go for like that goth alternative look and I do the whole makeup look with it. If I wanted to sit here with a natural makeup look like this, it doesn't look good on me. Um, it makes me, it's too harsh for my skin tone. I can carry it off, but I need to have like the look to go with it. And I can't with that. And like, I can carry off brunettes as well, like a brunette, but I just find like I'm not a brunette. Like a, a brunette is not my personality. So yeah. Uh, uh, I was shaken on, uh, uh, I was shocked on good you look with your new hair color. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So many compliments from me. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it's really good to compliment yourself a little bit more than giving people that funny because I can never imagine people being mean to you. Um, people are sometimes mean to me, it has happened, but if it gives me a confidence boost. I don't know, like it doesn't, it doesn't. The thing is, it's like, I don't, um, it's nice, it's nice to have a good community, but at the same time, like, I don't, I don't see that, like, things like that don't really go to my head like that. Does it give me confidence? I don't know, I don't think it does. As such, not really. I'm quite like how, how I would, I am who I am with or without YouTube, if that makes sense. I'm like, what you see is really what you get, so not necessarily. I mean, I'm glad that I don't, I don't have to like moderate my comment section. Even if I did have to do it, I don't have the time to do it. But for the most part, I'm lucky to have. Uh, I get very positive comments, and like I get very positive uh, in my. If I look at my analytics, like my like to dislike ratio is always really good as well. It's always like between 95 and like 99 percent or something like that. So you know, that's good. But I don't, I don't let my self worth be determined by likes or mine, if that makes sense. If that was the case, then I would post a lot of a lot more different stuff on like my Instagram and things like that. Like I post on Instagram a lot of posts of, of my training or my dogs and stuff like that. But it's not really uh, like an influence of Instagram because I don't really care about it. So like that. Uh, I will be a silly bit in change. I will have to tell me where to go for Alvin Bonetta. Raging you is the I would love to meet you. Uh yeah, Alexander Fisher. Unfortunately, it is a bit far away to the beat. So if I was in the area, I would be able to meet. Um, where is the space for Vanessa in City Beach? I can tell you. You have to let me know close to the time message me, and I'll tell you which one is the, the best one that I know of. Uh, your reaction 
the stress saying, Glam, is it normal to not feel my juice while doing hip thrust? I've only done my thigh muscles, so I'm okay. No, it's not, but I know why that is because I have the same issue. And especially if you're doing it in a, if you're doing hip thrust from a bench, I really struggle with uh, glute engagement from a bench. So, Daisy, get out of that, please. Move it. Move. Uh, excuse me. Don't you start? Um, I struggle with it as well, and I think it's because I'm tall. I find it really difficult to get a good pivot point. I move it with your balls. What do you have to be on the desk for? There we go. So what I do is, especially if you have a machine, but what you might want to try and do, for me to reach my post, right, I'm going to try and show you here. Let's see if Rosie's going to be shitted. Probably will be. So, you have to excuse my shit my box here. All right, so what I do, can you see? Yeah. So if I do, for the, for the, if I'm trying to do a good extension, right, and if I want to target my glutes, what I have to do is, it's not really dumb, but it works for me, is that rather than having my glutes on the straight, I kind of have to do this. But obviously, I don't actually do this. I just put all of my weight on the outside of my feet and into my heels. So when I drive up, I come down. I drive up and then I basically come up that way. And that helps me with my glutes. Um, but I have to balance my feet. My, uh, sorry, I have to balance my weight on the outside of my feet, and you might have to play around with your foot positioning as well. You might have to move away further or closer. Uh, you, might, you might have to move your feet further away or closer to you to get the to target the glutes. But I find that helps a lot for me with uh, doing hip thrusts. So that's why I often I come into my heels when I do them. I don't know what I'm out of reference. That's bad, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, do you incorporate bench presses into your workout? I used to. I used to bench. I used to fucking strong a bench press, but as you can tell, I have 99 quarters. My chest is not one of them, so I have basically not trained chest this entire year or last year. I think I've done maybe like five chest sessions, sessions the whole of last year. But I used to, and I used to love bench pressing. In fact, like my personal best on the bench press is something like 200 pounds, 210 pounds. I have, I ha used to have a very strong bench press. And I think this is part of the reason why I have good arms, like especially triceps, is because I did used to do a lot of bench pressing. But no, I don't at the moment because my chest is too muscular. Uh, do you have any advice for hamstrings, which are good, not, uh, not high maintenance? Do you have any now? Yeah, I do. So I have the uh, keratin one, so let me show you. So you can see, uh, let me see on the phone. So I have the keratin individual strands. Let me see where I can find one. Um, here we go. Uh, here we go. So, uh, there you see, so it's glued in here, a little strand. And um, I don't know, what, uh, the mirror, it's like it's, it's the opposite, anyway. In terms of like what's the best, it depends really. Like if you're speaking, you want actual human hair. I wouldn't recommend the ones that you weave in. I've had those. I didn't like those at all. I like the keratin ones better. And the only tip I can give you is to not put conditioner on all of your hair. You yeah, need especially on the keratin because the keratin will come out or it will loosen with the conditioner. So you just put a conditioner through the ends. But you want to have like really human hair and make sure you go to a place that's going to do the keratin bonds and not like small ones. Because if you have like the big chunks, it looks like shit. And if you start having them, you kind of have to keep the maintenance up and have to, you have to get them right done maybe every three months, maybe four if your heart grows slowly. But otherwise, it starts looking ugly. It's a bit like nails, you know what I mean? If you start having fake nails, you can't let them grow. I mean, you can let them grow out. But it's one of those things, once you kind of commit to doing that, you kind of have to stay on top of it and do it every few weeks. I have to do mine every three weeks because my nails grow so fast. Uh, Hip thrust is best for me, where I get much better engagement if I take the weight down a bit and add a pound. Yeah, um, I do a lot of pauses because a lot of the machines that I want to use, I can't go heavy enough on it. So I often, with the hip thrust, what I do is I will have a like two or three second contraction at the top, and I find that's very good uh, for development as well. And the low, higher repetitions, low reps, that's very good too, just to get engagement. That's in general a really good tip anyway. If you're struggling to get engagement to any body part. Uh, slow down your movements and focus on the contraction. So, for example, you know, if it's the bicep, 
I do the curl, hold it for a second or two, really think about like, all right, maybe rotate around, but like, oh, well, actually, here is where I feel it most, and then lower for four or five seconds, come up and hold the contraction. And that's a really good way of training. I like doing time and attention. It's something that I incorporate in all my training plans as well. Rosie with the upside down. Yeah, she can be so naughty, but then she can be so sweet as well. Little miss. Do you, how do you divide your training? So at the moment, because I do the wellness, I do Monday rest, Tuesday back of legs, hamstrings, Wednesday glutes, Thursday either upper body or rest. It depends on what I'm doing. Friday is either upper body or rest. Saturday is quads and Sunday is glutes again. Uh, do you think if we stronger back in a week, your chest can cause suspension headaches? Uh, like it would cause some balance issue like that. I'm not sure if it would. I know um, people with sloping shoulders have sloping shoulders because of uh, tight chests and uh, poor development through the um, rear delts. So what you want to do is like open that up by stretching. But I don't know if you slope the shoulder, maybe. But I don't think so. I don't see how it would. Because like if you have a strong back, everything's straight. So I'm not sure. But it's possible. Very possible. Hello from the Balkans. Oh, really <laughs> Hello from the Balkans. <laughs> um, I have a bad sound. Is that just me? Could be just you. Could be me. I did have audio issues, which is why we're not doing a reaction, but just a bit of a chit chat. Uh, did you no, know, we didn't have a uh, April Lauren reaction part because I was having audio issues. I need to try and fix that. So I will reschedule the actual reaction live for some point over the weekend. I'm not sure when yet. I just need to see what's up. But I will reschedule it. My lips, my lips are bleeding slightly. There you go. So no, the, the rest of it, but I will um, redo it. Uh, I don't really use them except for my beats for training. That's the only ones I use. But when I'm working and stuff, I prefer to use USB because I, I don't actually have uh, Bluetooth on this computer, I think. Or if I have, it's like it's kind of like rubbish. So, but I like Beats. That's the ones that I'm using. That work pretty good. Uh, I love your hair. Thank you very much, Melissa. I love you. Have a great day. I'm in the middle of the school day with my kids. Enjoy your school day with your children. So, yeah. But tonight I'm training up and when I train upper body, I basically get through the shoulders and back, but not very heavy. Sometimes I'll do like a bicep exercise or a tricep exercise, but it's all higher repetitions, not very heavy because I'm feeling muscular still through my upper body. And I think a lot of that is just from how I train because I do a lot of things like straight legged deadlifts and I do a lot of grabbing. And obviously, like when you grab, as you can tell, you just engage the, the, the delt spot. So, yeah. Like you now they've come down. So naughty you were, but now we've come down, huh? Yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go because uh, I did sort of make it for half an hour of just some chit chat. There will be a vlog coming out in a couple of hours, in an hour, a little bit over an hour. Um, and I'll try and reschedule this live, the reaction part of it, once I figured out my audio, which hopefully I can do tomorrow, but I'm not gonna look at that tonight. Because it's already like almost seven o'clock here. I'm gonna train, leave here around eight to train for around like quarter past eight, something like that. By the time I come home, it's too late for me to want to do anything else besides if I go work out and do those bits. So have a good weekend, y'all. Sorry about the audio issues. Hopefully I can fix them. I really do hope that because it was something not, but if not, have a good weekend and I will catch you later. Bye. <laughs>